Good morning, guys. It is the 4th of July, national holiday. But this message and the ones to come are going to be all about Jesus. We need to be independent of this world. So anyhow, let's get, I'll dive into this. There's a reason why I put, put that out there about the mark of the beast, mask of the beast. That's one of the messages. That's kind of an older one, but we need to know Jesus, not be wearing a mask. No scientific data behind it anyhow, guys. Mostly everybody tells you all that, you know, but anyhow, let me get into the know Jesus part first, and then you can hear the rest of it. <clears throat> what did he tell them? Lord, we did many wonderful things in your name. We cast out devils, we healed the sick, we raised the dead, we did all this stuff. Depart from me, for I know you not. Your work was of iniquity. The five foolish and the five wise Five of them knew Jesus, knew their source, knew where their oil came from. You know, there are many different versions of what the oil really is. Matters and it doesn't. It's do you know God? Do you know Jesus? Do you know the Holy Ghost? Do you know his word? So that's my whole point. I'm going to make this a very short video because I'm going to try to do some short ones and some longer ones. Please tune in to them, watch them. If you like them, share them. Um, I'm not trying to build a church, a name, a ministry, nothing. That's why I call the Jesus is Alive in America. Nothing to do with me and everything to do with his children and his body. But Isaiah 9, 2 through 6. Man, guys, we want to take this country back. It's going to be through prayer, listening. We've idolized way too many things. Latest, greatest, or pick one. Now they're barking about the monuments. President Trump went to the... Um, lost my train of thought, but you know the monuments he just went to? the, And then President Obama went there. Everybody's like, they're monuments. Guys were worshiping dead people, dead presidents. I'm sorry, I know that hurts a little bit. I'm an American too. I don't like any of that stuff either, guys. I'm not trying to hurt people. I'm trying to tell you it's time to get redirected to Jesus. You don't you don't believe me? Do this one thing, get up at five in the morning and start praying and finding out what he's saying. Because it's time to start listening. It's time to weep between the porch and the altar for this nation and for the world. Because guys, it's not just that we're in trouble, it's that people are perishing for lack of knowledge. It's time to get up. It's at 5 a.m. prayer. Not a game, guys. I got no skin in the game from y'all. None of y'all are supporting me. I don't ask for anything. I am going to ask for something now, but I'm, I'm not getting a check from anybody. If God tells you to send me a check, send it. But not, you know, I got three or four other ministries that you can email me. Jesus is live at gmail.com. I got a give, send, go posting. Um, but that's not my point. My point is that he's been my source. My, my wife lost her job at Christmas. She didn't work since. I'm more blessed than when she worked. God's provided in so many different ways. None of y'all, I mean, I haven't even asked. I don't, it's just me. I'm not knocking it and I'm not criticizing people that have to either because that's part of the ministry. You do need finances and you should ask and it's part of it. And we should pay our tithes and offerings, and we should support our pastors, but we shouldn't support them with a $10 million house and compound because they don't need it. And then they tell you, want to tell you, oh, give you some formula, phony scheme, really, honestly. Look what God did. Look how much he can bless you. We all want to hear that blessed land message, blessed, li blessed, blessed life message that you're going to get a new car and a new house. Well, what if you don't? Tithe, the tithe and offering never says anything about money. 
what if what if the windows of heaven are that you don't get the coronavirus or that your children get saved or that they stay drug free or that you stay cancer free or your grandchildren are born with all the facilities their toes their fingers their lungs they're born healthy or your child is kept from an abortion having to be in that position there's so many different blessings that he can bestow upon us guys and I don't like all that seed offering message because it connotates that you're going to give something to get something give freely but you know there's so many things to know Jesus but I'm not asking you to know him through me or my or my even my opinions or whatever I don't try not to be opinionated but I'm human too guys okay so but most of it's no but so what I'm telling you is get it from your source I hear that I've heard that on several Facebook pages Who, who's your source because I put some stuff out there about Tom Hanks saying you know the thing about the mask and people were like who's your source who's your source Everybody's like, who's your, well, you know, it came from the Washington Times, so I figured that was pretty legitimate. And I Googled it, and there's three or four, so yes, it is legitimate, as far as I can see. If it's not, tell me, you fact checkers, and I'll, you know, change it or repent or whatever, but right now, no. But my source is Jesus, and that's what I'm telling you. It needs to be your source. At five in the morning, get up as a nation and pray, weep and pray for this nation because it's not a game guys you're not going to get to Pasco and this is not Monopoly you're not going to get 200 bucks and get to Pasco and go by boardwalk instead of railroad not a game guys it's the real deal the rubber meets the road a sheriff in Washington I'm in with this I don't know if he was saved or not I don't know where he stands with the Lord but he stood for what he believed which was to know that he's not going to wear a mask and call a sheep. Going to the slaughter. And the dude had his uniform on. Kind of a pretty bold statement because, you know, he could get, I mean, people, you see it all the time on the internet, people are living their careers all right. Some, yes, I get. Justifiably, yes, maybe. But that's how frustrated people are. So I do have a mask, guys. I'm going to start wearing it. I might actually start wearing this in the store and just walk in with it on and say, does this suffice? Here's my mask, guys. How's this? Does this mask suffice? Will it keep the coronavirus from plaguing you? Will it keep me from spitting on you or breathing on you? How does it look? Fashion statement. Match to my blue shirt. Matches the 4th of July, red, white, and blue. Well, I don't know where the white is, I guess my ceiling. My whole point is, guys, it's not so much the mask. It's what's behind it. And I've got some very deep messages coming out, but they're not like, we're all deep, but it's just some stuff the Lord laid in my heart about the disobedience, dishonoring, the the dismemberment, the total chaos that's coming in this country. It's coming through our leadership, guys, too. Political and the church. I'm not politicizing it because that's an idol, too, guys. That's become an idol, too. Donald Trump's become an idol, and he's not. He's not Jesus. Sorry. Many of y'all that... I'm not saying don't vote. I'm not saying he's not the right guy. I'm not saying he is or isn't, none of that. I'm saying we've idolized the economy coming back. It's not, but the economy of Jesus is. So Isaiah 9, 2, 6, 2 through 6. It's time to get back, guys. This whole coronavirus, everybody's panicking, to, you know. One virus took the church out. I've said that to some Christians and they got mad. I'm sorry, I'm not, that's not my message. I'm not trying to make anybody mad. I'm not trying to poke the bear too much, but the reality of it, guys, it did. 99% capitulated and caved in and do whatever, closing, whatever. But God allowed that to happen. 
And because we built our house upon sand, we had to idolize the church, ministries, different people. I'm not saying don't get together. I'm not saying it's not coming back. That's not my message. None of that, because it is. But it's going to come back right, true, correct, and holy and acceptable in his sight, or it's not coming back. So many of y'all, some of them don't even claim to be church anymore. I heard one one guy on Instagram and how they were opening back up and never once mentioned God, never once mentioned Jesus, never once mentioned the Holy Ghost. I think he might have mentioned prayer a little bit, but very little. But it's all about, I got three or four hundred people that showed up. So what? Man, you know, that's the, a numbers game, guys. Man, when I was 18, I had 300 people show up for a keg party, and I charged five bucks a head. I made a lot of money. Of course, I wasn't saved, you know, but did stupid stuff. But it's not about that anymore, guys. It's about knowing Jesus. So take your, if you're, if you're going to do that, you know, my message alone, take your side down and repent. Come to the altar and pray and weep and pray. Uh, I'm going to end with this. Pastor at a church, all black church actually, where I attended for six years. I guess I was a token white guy, guys. But long story, and that probably some of my message too, but he used to say, you got to, $600 briefcase and a $1 message. He'd say, you want to start a church? Go get a building somewhere. Cry, blow it's not. Cry out to God. It's time to weep and pray, guys, between the porch and the altar. It's time. I'm not telling you anything other than directional, and that's get to the prayer piece and get to the listening, because God wants us. That's why he said, my people who are calling my name will humble themselves and pray. Humble yourselves, guys. 5 a.m., let's see you there. You've really been adamant about telling people that to cry out to a nation and to the people at 5 a.m. because that starts the day for most of us. There's no distractions if you don't want it. There's no computer, cell phones. Your wife's not up or your husband's not up. Your kids aren't up. Babies aren't crying. There's no demands. There's no CNN if you don't want it. I turn mine off because it's, it's a bunch of garbage anyhow. It's time to know Jesus and say no to the mask because it's symbolic and it's just like God has a stamp of approval, which is the Holy Ghost and seals the deal, but the enemy is trying to seal the deal, guys. Get everybody to act stupid. Do you think I'm wrong or ignorant or whatever? Then fact checkers correct me if I'm wrong. Where's the scientific data behind it? Prove it. There isn't any. Actually, it's harmful to you, the CO2 and all that other stuff. Talk to doctors and different people. Get to, get your facts straight, guys, first before you start barking at me. There's nothing to it but a demonic force that's driving us into getting us the mark of the beast, guys. That's why I put the mark of the beast or the mask of the beast. We kind of already did take the mark, guys. You can't buy or sell. You can't, do, you can't even go into a store. Well, half of the equation's right there. They won't even let you in a store. I walk in without a mask on most of the stores, and if they say something, I got one in my pocket, and I eventually might put it on. I might leave. I just have to pray about it. I might go somewhere else. I'm looking for that manna from heaven. God's going to... I was going out to get a cup of coffee when this all first started again with the mask. Went to two places, got kicked out. Told them, I said, it's a Jesus thing. I'm not wearing a mask. Well, I just wanted a cup of coffee, guys. So you know what? Moses had to strike the rock. Children of Israel needed water. Water came out. Well, God's going to have to perform more miracles than that for me because I want coffee, I want hot, and I want it black. I mean, very specific. I don't know how he's going to pour hot coffee out of a rock. But if he can pour water out of a... to quench the thirst of his children... You think you can give me a cup of coffee? Of course. So we need to know Jesus, guys. And take off this. See ya. Love ya. No more masks. No to the mask.
and know Jesus instead. Love you. Watch by their messages because some of them I'm not going to pull it aside. I'm not going to name names. I can, but I'm not going to. But they're, it's kind of brutal and a little ugly. But I'm being obedient to the Lord. So I love you guys. They're coming up late tonight, probably all throughout this next couple of days. Love you guys.